Hi there. Today I'm going to be doing a quick review tutorial on how to use the Postgrades tool in Infinite Campus for report cards. Um, I know I did a similar training in, back in August, but I thought that since report cards are coming up pretty soon, it'd be a good idea to do a quick review again. So first, um, go ahead and log into Infinite Campus. And once you're in there, Make sure you click on this icon and click on instruction to ensure that you are in the instruction platform. Once you are in the instruction platform, you can ask, you can access the Postgres tool by clicking here on the left and you should see this view. If you are using the new look, the way you would access the Postgrades tool is by clicking on instruction and then under classroom administration, you would click on Postgrades and it would take you to the same window. So there's three ways to actually Postgrades, but before that, the first thing to do is to make sure that you are in the correct term and that you are in the correct section. As I mentioned before, there are three ways you can enter grades. The first one is by all standards and grading tasks. If you decide to enter grades using this view, you will have access to all the standards under each student. From here, you can enter a percentage, let's say 80 if that's applicable, or the grade, and you can put that in there as well, and then any comments you'd like to put example good job now and all of your standards will be listed here for every student another way to enter grades is to click on standards and grading task here you would be able to enter grades um, for each standard for each student so if we want to enter grades for reading level for example You'll have access to all your students. You can enter a percentage and enter in grade. If you did not assess um, for this particular standard, you would click on this slash and then go from there. If you know you didn't assess for this standard during this trimester for all of your students, you can also click on this fill percent grade and you can actually Click here for grade, and then you can fill all the way down for all of your students. So you don't have to do it one at a time. So as you can see, not assessed. And what would be what would help too, especially if your parents um, are not familiar with what this slash means, you can actually write a comment in here if you'd like that says that, um, for example, standard was not assessed during. And just like you could with grades, you can also fill comments all the way down to save time as well. I'm just going to write standard, not assessed. And then you could fill all the way down as well. And then you can also enter grades by student by student. And when and so if you go in this view, you'll see that for each student, in this example is Avery, you'll have every standard listed and you can write down the percent or the grade and comments if applicable for each student. Now remember to whichever view you decide to use when entering grades that you always save to make sure it's in there. So this completes our quick tutorial on how to enter grades using the Postgrades tool on Infinite Campus. Thank you.